So, Silvalli, Stone Journer, Journey, The Rock, Stonehenge, whatever you want to call it, is a combo deck that combos Rose and Silvalli to power up Stone Journers in one turn. And the idea here is that you'll notice that we don't have any single prize attackers. And that's because I want to force my opponent to try to go through three, or excuse me, two Stone Journers or three Pokemon total that have low HP. And so we are going to try to do that via, um, you know, via Rose, get that powered up via just manual attachments or this Stone Gift attaching energy. That's how we can kind of facilitate this Max Rockfall. Now, Max Rockfall, not doing a ton of damage, 200 damage, but we can supplement that with our Martial Arts Dojo. So Martial Arts Dojo will allow us to do just a base 10 more. And then if we're down on prizes, we can do an additional 40 more damage. So that's good for math like the Zacian V, um, good for just getting more damage in play at any one time. Um, we have a thick count of Silvalli. That is gonna be the way that we just maintain consistency. So keeping Silvalli counts high, I think is really important. I've, I've seen people go 2-2 two, two here. I, I think having three is really good because really in a lot of games, you actually want to avoid as much as possible dropping Crobats, dropping Dedenne, dropping uh, Eldegoss, because those all have less HP than Silvalli. It's just that much harder to knock out Silvalli. A lot of things can do 180 or 160 pretty reasonably, um, but doing 210, that's just another reach that you're trying to force your opponent to go into. So trying not to drop down anything that's either one prize uh, which we don't include in the list for that reason. And then trying to avoid as much as possible the Vs here. So the um, the V Pokemon that we've included that are not evolution Pokemon here are the Crobat and Dedenne just for some consistency in the early game. And then we have Eldegoss in case we need to recycle a boss's orders in the late game. One of the things that I like about this deck, if we're coming down here to the trainers, is that we include four Pokemon Catcher. That's so that we can Rose and then redraw our hand for disc reload and then go into Pokemon Catcher. I, I found that Pokemon Catcher is really, really good. We do, we do still want the boss's order, right? Because it combos with our Eldegoss. But um, the, just the gust, the automatic gust after playing a supporter is really cool. Cause we can go like Mallow and Lana, gust something and you know take a knockout. Or we can go Rose and then gust and take a knockout. So those are really cool. We've included one reset stamp, something that I just felt was pretty necessary. Um, and, you know, 12 energy, we want to keep our energy counts high because unfortunately Rose only works if you have energy in the discard pile. There's no real way to discard it outside of Quick Ball um, or Research. Including a couple copies here, there's three copies of Marnie, a couple copies of Mallow and Lana, and one of the better cards in the deck is Bird Keeper, actually. You guys have seen over the course of the games that I've been playing on stream that Bird Keeper has just saved us in so many instances. So Bird Keeper, really cool card for the deck that allows us to draw, but also allows us to switch if we get into a really funky position. So that is the list, you guys. Enjoy these next few games of Stone Journer VMAX. It is not, it is Senti Scorch. Or wait, maybe it's just Welder Box. Fair enough. Okay, we need a Quick Ball. Give me, give me a Quick Ball, Daddy. We're about to get donked. You definitely hate to see it. I'm actually not even going to attach to the active if we don't draw a Quick Ball. We got seven outs. <gasps> Let's go! <laughs> He's a legend. He's a living legend. Okay. So we discard Marnie. I'm just way too good for this earth. You guys are way too lucky to have me. Count your blessings, chat. <laughs> Count your blessings. All right, um, we get a stone journer. Um, yeah, we get a we get a stone journer. I think. 
and we'll go here. And we'll go here. And we'll be done. Ask and you shall receive. That's right. That's right. You just gotta believe in the heart of the cards. I don't think anyone believes in the heart of the cards more uh, than I. There's no one that fully embodies. He has two welders in hand? Look at that hand. Just don't switch on me, dude. Wait, really? You didn't want a welder there? I guess you need a switch more than... Dang. I'm surprised at that, actually. Because you could have gotten a knockout on the Type Null. Huh. Felt like that might have been... We'll see. I mean, if you get the switch, I think it's all moot. Because, like, obviously that's the more ideal play. But, like, you look at what you have on the field. I think that's... Um... I, I mean, we'll see how it plays out. We'll see how it plays out. <laughs> Mitch says, thanks, FBI agent. We really needed that quick ball. Yeah, we did. We did. Thank you, government. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely greedy, Brandon. I, I think you take the knockout there like nine out of ten times. In my humble onion. Um... Do we think he has a good hand? I'm, I'm gonna go for the research. I'm gonna play the stamp because that gives him one less card. Granted, he probably didn't have a ton in that hand if he didn't play anything down. Um, but, you know, technically that is the correct play. Um, we'll go here. We have this. We're gonna discard the catcher. for another stony man. Let's get ready to rock. All right, maybe somebody in the 100 people will know what I'm talking about. I rock and roll all day long, sweet Susie. Anyone? Anyone? Chat? Chat? Anyone? Okay, so we're chilling. So, all right, so what I don't want to do and this goes back, we've been talking about this all, this is my philosophy. You know, it's our problem-free philosophy. We don't wanna drop more than we need to because we wanna force my opponent to go through two Stone Journer VMAXs. You know what I mean? So like we could have played the, we could have played the Crobat there, but then if we do that, then that opens him up to knocking out Crobat, Sil Valley, and one Stone Turner. I guess there's more HP involved there, but we have a lot more healing with the Stone Turner. I want to keep those alive as long as possible. Yo, Flabface, extra credit. Extra credit to Flabface for that one. <laughs> I think you need some switches. Bro, we got air balloons. We got air balloons and bird keepers. We're in here. All right, so Brandon has to decide now whether or not he wants to... Um, excuse me? Are we about to see the double switch? A double Switchington? Switchington McGee? Gonna do the 250, knock out my Sil Valley? And then come up and get bodied? About to get bodied by my Journer. Brandon says, can I run eight switch or what? <laughs> so there's the air balloon. Gonna retreat. Oh, what's going on? High heat blast? All right, I'm in. I am in, we get the catcher, we get the bird keeper. All right, we need to draw into um, an energy. We do, we're legends. And then do we even want to take a KO on this? Do we care? 
Do we care about that knockout? Do we care about that knockout? I should say, do we care about that knockout enough um, to warrant using both catchers? He can do 130 to us. He could do up to 250. He could do up to 250 to us. So maybe it's worth it. All right, I'm, I'm just gonna do it. What the heck? We're gonna flip two tails anyway, so. All right, let's go for it. Yeah, I think we do take that out. I think we do take that out. Cause now he needs to, now instead, like we took out a potential of 200 damage off his board. Um, Because if we knock out the Volcanion, he still has two energy on the bench. He can go welder and attach. And then like, that's that's not a great thing for Brandon to do, but like he still has that potential for 250 damage. And then by knocking that out on the bench, he now needs welder or like, I guess, attach and turbo patch to even do 110 to us. If he just has to hit us for 50, I don't see us losing this game. So. So we're in a we're in a nice spot. We're in a really nice spot. Probably need a lot for Crobats. Um, Mitch, you sh they should even out. I would imagine that Crobats by the end of the week, by the end of like next week, will probably be about 20 codes total. Oh, and I, that's that's reminding me, QC Hawk, we had that trade going. So. You're really about to knock out my Silvalli, huh? You need a Turbo Patch Heads? You can do it, man. Straight up. So there's the Dene, yep, digging for that turbo patch. No doubt. No doubt, no doubt. Do see another Heatran. At this point, I'm a little worried about how many energy Brandon has. Tails. Oh! He takes out the Silvale. You've got to be kidding me, bro. All right, things just got a little bit more interesting, that's for sure. So we are going to promote our Stonejourner V. We're looking for a V Max. I mean, does it get any better? Does it get any better? And we got Rose for next turn, if we can get some energy in the discard. So let's go Bird Keeper. This is great. Does this matter? Do we care about evolving? I don't think we do. I'm I could eat my words here. I don't think we care about evolving. Um We care about having quick balls. We have all three of our support Pokemon in our hand right now. That's pretty funny. And then we'll go max rock ball. All right, so what does Brandon do? I think what Brandon might try to do here is come up with Victini. Yep, he's gonna energy burst and try to get a welder onto the Heatran. I presume he has welder. Yep, there it is. He's gonna welder onto the Heatran. He's gonna do 150 here with the Victini. And then we need to figure out a way to get some energy onto this stone journer. We got two rows in hand. Um, but we need like, so we would need one energy. It's at this point that we can think about playing our, um, you know, Crobats and, and Eldegosses and stuff. Cause if we can go, maybe we Marnie here, you know, just refresh the hand. So there's an air balloon coming down onto the Dedene. We could also just go in and knock out the Heatran. Um, and knock out the Heatran. Right, we do have Gustin here. No, we do not. Hmm. 
Yo, 13 energy is never enough. What do we want to do? What do we want to do? We could dig for the Mallow and Lana, but I don't think that helps. We got all four Pokemon Catcher in the discard, our reset stamp in the discard. We could go for a Marnie. Is that our best play? Go for a Marnie, knock out the active, try to get an energy attachment onto the Stone Jinner, and then um, just try to KO something. I think that's our best play. And then hope we can get into, we're putting all of our quick balls on the bottom of our deck. This is, oh no, no, no. Okay, so then what we do is we Giant Hearth. Okay, so we Marnie first, and then we Giant Hearth to, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Giant Hearth to, to you know, kind of, mix up the deck i guess if we if we hadn't drawn the evo incense go there um get rid of stone journer go here and then max rock ball take ko we're gonna get two more prizes one thing i could have done maybe with the quick ball is like we could have set ourselves up to you know get into a sil valley gx which is maybe something i should have thought about because uh, at this point, if he if he gusts to knock out a Silvalli GX, then we just Stone Journer him. The way that that could backfire on us is if he'd knocked it out with a Charizard, then we'd have a really tough time. If if Brandon can get out a Charizard here, he's down three Welder. So like, it's not the craziest thing, but if he can get a Charizard out here do 200 damage, one-shot the Stone Journer, that we don't actually have a response. Danny says, I have a pretty... Bur Danny, do you want to play some pre-rotation stuff? Because I, I have a ton of pre-rotation. You want to play like a like a best of three or something with, uh, with a couple of decks? All right, let's let's do pre-rotation stuff so I don't have to waste time uh, making post. Not not waste time, but you know what I mean. Like, um, yo, he didn't get another. He didn't get an energy attachment. Oh, <gasps> he didn't get an energy attachment. It doesn't matter. We still had the roses in hand, but like, man, that was a crazy game, Brandon. GGS.